All right, well, welcome, Edward. Uh, we've been spending a couple pretty unique days here, pretty special days together. Tell us, uh, I'll let you spill the beans to the audience. Tell us what we've been doing since last night and today. Um, obviously, a great dinner at, uh, hosted by uh, Barbara and, and Brian at their, their house. Um, absolutely lovely meal. Uh, it was uh, a really special occasion. It was uh, very genuine. You know, you know Brian, he's a uh, very genuine guy. And, and obviously, Barbara as well, very down to earth. Great, yeah, absolutely great people. So private dinner at their home, which was very neat last night. And then uh, and then today we started filming, the principal filming for his documentary, sure. yeah. uh, Maximum Achievement, The Brian Tracy Story. Uh, tell us a little bit about maybe a few things that stuck out to you today about what Brian spoke about. There were so many things that resonated with me. And I think that the primary thing was that it's a holistic approach. There's not just one thing that you have to do. It's not just sort of close your eyes, you know, breathe deeply and, and, and wish for things to happen. You know, all these things come with action. You know, some great insights from, from a very great man um, who's spoken to, to thousands of people, you know, spread the message, uh, his understanding and the knowledge that he's learned and sifted through hundreds of thousands of hours of reading great books and speaking to some very successful people. Absolutely, and coaching, he's coached more than what, five million people around the world personally, I and mean, it's amazing. So the, what I thought was amazing is in three hours, um, he reconstructed everything I thought I knew about everything. You know, and just I, I, basic principles that I, I, I understand, but I didn't really know how to explain them to somebody or why they worked the way they did, and obviously he did that now. When did you first learn of Brian Tracy? Um, I was quite late, actually. Uh, it was probably about 2008 that I started to get into personal development and uh, Brian Tracy along with Jim Rohn and Zig Ziglar and, you know, sure. were, 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 the, were the classic reading for me. Um, in fact, I turned my car into a, you know, a, a mobile university. I have all the audio books. Yeah. Um, so it, it sticks, you know, my, my kids um, you know, complain, can we have the radio on now, Dad? You know, who's this old guy talking? And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it is going in subconsciously to them as well. Absolutely. Now, uh, you obviously are serving as a producer on the movie, which uh, I'm very thankful for, and, and it's a great role. And what made you want to produce this movie? What, what did you want to accomplish? Um, for me, it was, you know, um, co-authoring the success blueprint with him this year, and it was to be involved with such an iconic, genuine man um, who's got such a, a great reputation um, around the world. Um, to actually be part of his life story and the telling of his life story. You know, they're not going to do that twice. Um, it, I just had to be here uh, to be part of that, that whole experience and, and to bring his message to a much wider audience. That makes me feel less now. I, I really appreciate having you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for that.